very good morning dear students in automobile engineering we are using different system starting from the transmission system auto electric system braking system fuel system suspension systems and many other sub systems also and one of the major system of automobile is known as braking system the brake is a mechanical device which restricts the motion of the vehicle suppose vehicle running high speed and suddenly required to reduce the motion of the vehicle in that time you have to use brake and by the help of brake we can reduce the speed of the vehicle we can stop the vehicle also. The next is why braking system is used or need of braking system in auto. Just the braking system is used to slow down or stop the vehicle at the shortest possible distance and shortest possible time. Both is essential. In the shortest possible distance, we must stop the vehicle and shortest possible time also. Time also one important point, important factor. And second requirement is to control the vehicle when it is turning. at a high speed and during the running over the slope road the braking system is used to control the vehicle and now we have to know the different types of braking system or classifications of braking system. Braking systems are classified as per the mode of operation. In which mode the braking system is operating? First one is the mechanical brake. And the mechanical brake again divided into two types: drum brake and a disc brake. Second one is the hydraulic brake. And uh, in your mechanical brake, purely mechanical arrangement is there. Mechanical means uh, some types of uh, spring, lever, brackets is used to give the braking force that is the mechanical brake and in hydraulic brake instead of a lever and mechanical linkage the oil is used so the oil pressure will give the braking force And third one is air brakes. In the previous brake, suppose in hydraulic braking system, the oil is incompressible in nature. During the application of brake, when the hydraulic oil flow from master cylinder to wheel cylinder, 
it is incompressive in nature and during the jerking when vehicle running in the road over over the road jerking or any honks suddenly comes then what happens the vehicle is unable to take the jerk in that type case the air brake is more applicable is air is incompressive in nature so air braking system is used compressed air will produce braking force at the same time if need some need to absorb some jerking force also it can accommodate inside the system and also simultaneously it will produce braking force then the fourth one is air hydraulic brakes and one important point we should discuss here in hydraulic brakes the braking force is robust smooth and heavy but hydraulic oil is incompressive in nature and in air brake what happens the air is compressive in nature it can absorb shock but the braking force applied to the compressed air is less as compared to hydraulic brakes so we have to combine with both the air and hydraulic braking system to get only the advantage part of the braking system suppose hydraulic braking system the it can produce more braking force and air braking system air brakes it can absorb shock due to compressive nature so air hydraulic brakes what happens it can give more braking force and can absorb so shocks which is produced during the running of the vehicle at a different road conditions and fifth one is vacuum brakes so negative pressure vacuum brakes also one of the braking system of and the sixth mode of braking is electric brakes so these are the different types of braking system so this one is mechanical brake now we will discuss about mechanical brake as shown in figure this one is mechanical brake it is arranged nicely so many components are assembled and will produce a predetermined operation is known as braking it will give a braking force and as shown in figure this outer periphery is known as brake drum suppose this outer periphery outer circle is known as brake drum or drum of the wheel over the drum the tire is arranged or tire is placed over the drum and to make a complete wheel of the vehicle 
and just inside the, the drum is known as brake cylinder suppose this this is the drum of the wheel and inside the drum is known as brake cylinder the uh, am given here inside circle or inside space is known as brake cylinder and two brakes show this green half circle type shape metal shape the parts is known as brake show here also in the left side another brake show and both the brake show connected in the adjusting mechanism here is the adjusting mechanism which is connected both end of the brake show and one lining is connected with the brake show this one is the brake lining this is the brake lining another brake lining here and the brake lining is one of the frictional material as best as frictional material is used to make the brake lining which produce suppose the main motor to produce brake lining when it will get contact with the other material it can hold rigidly and make more friction if we want to give more braking force so the brake lining should rub against the wheel drum with more friction then we can give more braking force the function of the brake lining to fulfill the purpose and other end of the brake so connected with the piston or sometimes it is lever here the piston is arranged this one is piston and both side of the piston the piston rod directly attached with the brake shoe suppose this side this is this one is a piston rod which is attached to the brake shoe and the left side also another piston rod which is attached with the brake shoe and the this one is a lever mechanical lever and one end of the lever connected with the brake cable this one is the brake cable and inside some spring arrangement is there during the operation the function of spring it will get a expansion or elongate due to the braking force applied and after removal of braking force or brake when brake pedal free then push the spring it will come to the original position and all the arrangement are come to the original position so when the driver is used to apply braking force the driver foot is used to give braking force through the brake pedal or brake when brake pedal is pressed then through the cable this lever operate and through this lever 
द पिस्टन इज एक्ट आउटवर्ड्स एंड दिस पिस्टन रोड इज यूज टू फोर्स ब्रेक शो आउटवर्ड एंड द आउटर सरफेस ऑफ द ब्रेक शो विच इज कनेक्टेड विथ ब्रेक लाइनिंग एंड ब्रेक लाइनिंग बोथ साइड ब्रेक लाइनिंग will rub against the wheel drum when brake lining the rub will rub against the brake drum and this friction material when rigidly rub against the brake drum the motion of the wheel reduce and after some times if a braking force applied continuously then it will stop or wheel will stop and vehicle will stop and in the reverse way when braking force is removed from the brake pedal and this cable again it will come back to its original position and due to spring force this piston rod move to its move back to its original position and brakes also move inward and brake lining detaches from wheel cylinder and this operation work continuously during the running of the vehicle especially during the vehicle when taking turn or during the different road condition or any instantly any obstacle comes in front of the vehicle we need to apply brake and the mechanical brake operation is very simple so the drum brake has a metal brake drum that includes brake assembly at each wheel suppose a four wheeler each of the wheel arranged the braking system when brake pedal pressed all the four wheel get the braking force and reduce speed simultaneously and the two core brake shoe expand outwards the brake shoe when brake shoe pedal is pressed the brake shoe move outwards the brake shoe position is this weight is placed inside the drum it will expand outward and the brake lining which is rub against the brake drum and expand outward to slow stop the drum which rotates with the wheel For more details, we we can use the link given below. This is the link, NTPL link, and it is made by Professor C S Sankaram, Department of Engineering Design, Ahmedabad.